My name is Matt Essam. I'm a business coach and I work with established freelancers and small businesses in the creative industries. My journey really started back in 2012 when I ran my own freelance business doing everything from graphic design to web development. And it was going well for a few years, but after a while I found that I was really, really busy and had lots of work on, but it wasn't necessarily the work that I wanted to do. I decided that the answer to my challenges was to be a digital nomad and travel the world because that would mean that even if I wasn't enjoying the work, at least I was on a beach somewhere uh, and I could get a bit of sunshine. But after a while, what I found was that I was actually quite unfulfilled and really just felt like I was running away from things. It was actually uh, a sudden death in my family that brought that to light and, and really helped me to shift my perspective. So I came back to the UK and I was lucky enough to work with some of the most successful entrepreneurs uh, in London who taught me how to build a business that was more than just graphic design or more than just uh, logos and it was really about solving a meaningful problem. So I decided that I wanted to help other freelancers to have the confidence to do that themselves. I saw a lot of people that were just doing work for the sake of paying the bills and I really wanted to help people to find that work that was meaningful to them and really have the confidence to go out and charge what they're worth and do what they love on a consistent basis. So I now run a variety of courses and workshops that are all about helping freelancers to unpack their value and really solve meaningful problems in the world, do work that makes them come alive, do work that they're passionate about and get well paid at the same time. The thing that really helped me develop was actually trying to understand what problem I was solving for my clients rather than just offering them my services, digging down a bit deeper into their business and learning about what they were really trying to achieve so that I could fully understand whether what I was offering them was the right solution. And I think that led to a lot more referrals um, and just a lot more flow of work really. Work-life balance is a really interesting one and a lot of people ask me about that and since really digging down and identifying what was important to me and knowing what my values are and taking the leap to do something I was really passionate about, that doesn't really cross my mind that much and I, I do think that having a balance is important but when you do something you really love, it doesn't actually feel like work. So I work on Saturdays a lot, I work evenings, I work weekends, but to me it doesn't feel like work, I really enjoy it. So I think the key thing is to make sure that you're doing something that you, you get genuine fulfillment out of and it doesn't just feel like another job. Admin's quite a hot topic and in hindsight, I remember when I first started freelancing, I had this belief that I had to do everything myself so I was quite swamped all the time with things like accounts and project management, all this different stuff. Now what I realize is that you don't have to do everything yourself and just because you're called a freelancer doesn't mean that you just have to do it on your own. So when I look at my business now, it's very different. A lot of my admin is actually outsourced to other people and it doesn't have to be a huge expense. You think about the time, where your time is best spent is probably not on the admin side of things. So if you don't enjoy it, you're not good at it, then really the solution is to get somebody else to do it. The future for me is really focused on growing my accelerator program, which is for established freelancers and small business owners. I really want to reach and help as many people as I can and scale that program so that I can help people to make a real difference in the world.